Relative purchasing power parity. Suppose there are two countries, US and India. Inflation in India is greater than inflation in US. It would mean that price of basket of goods in India is costing more than the price of basket of goods in US. PPP requires that, that the cost of the basket of goods should be same in both the countries. Well, in case if it is higher in India than in US, then it means that INR must depreciate vis-a-vis -vis US dollar. So, percentage change in exchange rates is a function of percentage change in prices or inflation in two countries. Note that inflation and the value of currency are inversely related. This is the way you can write the exchange rate between the two countries and ET upon ET minus 1 could be written as like this. This is the way you write the inflation rates and the growth rate in exchange rate is ET minus ET minus 1 upon ET minus 1. Note that how numerator is written, this simple manipulation. And uh, again, if you open this up, you're going to get this. Note that the second expression is very small because in case of inflation rates are small, then the changes in inflation rates are again very small, so it could be ignored. So growth rate and exchange rate could be written as the differences in prices in domestic and the foreign country. This is the relative purchasing power parity.